Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here out of Houston, Texas. Uh, woke up this morning to a question about autoimmunity. Uh, and there is a lot of bad information out there. So let's share some facts. But first and foremost, my background, 30 years in clinical practice, treating uh, the full end of the spectrum, world-class athletes and people who have been essentially sent home to die that medicine gave up on. And I've also taught doctors all over the world, six different continents, over 10,000 hours of health information. So um, people often say, you know, I've got this autoimmune circumstance, but that doesn't make sense. I thought my immune system was created to protect me. Well, it is. So what goes wrong in this circumstance is there's a trigger. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But New England Journal of Medicine says this, auto reactivity is physiologic. It's a normal part of physiology, crucial to normal immune function. So we must weed our garden. You know, we've got trillions of cells uh, and every day cells get sick, cells die, cells mutate. So we wanna clean those cells out of the body. Very sad case, this was called to my attention uh, in 2012, I guess, Sasha McHale, Hall of Fame basketball player, Kevin McHale's daughter, uh, died from complications of lupus. But if you dig into the case, they were giving her immunosuppressive drugs and very, very sadly, she developed pneumonia and died. So could that have been prevented? Well, maybe, maybe with the right protocol, it could have. So this is a TED talk and this uh, speaker is talking about autoimmunity. And he says, you know, here you have an abnormal cell of the pancreas, a beta cell that makes insulin. Here you have a normal cell. And when you have this abnormal cell, the immune system will attack it. Well, think about that for a moment. Shouldn't the immune system be on guard for abnormal cells? Uh, and his solution was, you know, we're just working on smarter drugs so that, you know, we don't have too many complications. But why don't we take it a step further back? Why don't we find out what's causing the problem? So one of the roles of the immune system is to differentiate self from non-self, which cells are mine, which cells aren't. I'll often you know, ask patients, you know, look, if someone needed a kidney transplant and you just randomly said, hey, I'll, I'll give them mine, well, what's the probability that it'll work in their body? And most people will say slim, and that's correct. So are you likely to be a close match? Probably not, but even if you are, they will still give you immunosuppressive drugs. But this reference says there's a relationship between cell injury and autoimmune disease. So what are the mechanisms of injury? Well, generally, I'm just gonna say that it's gonna be stress, toxins, malnutrition, and an imbalance of physical inactivity. But this graphic says people have some genetic susceptibility, there's some type of environmental response, and then ultimately the immune system starts to attack. So I've called this the deadly quartet, and we wanna improve all these circumstances to improve immune function. When you look at PubMed, Nutrition and Immune, over 27,000 studies, on the nutrition and the immune system. And these are universal immune balancing nutrients. So, you know, what do we wanna do with these? Well, we can buy the immune system time, buy the patient time to resolve the circumstance. And by the way, medicine can do that too with some immunosuppressive drugs, but there's a downside to them and that is immune suppression. And ultimately we wanna figure out what's causing the problem and clear that out. If you want more health, happiness, and success, that's my life mission. Send me a private message, and I look forward to talking to you. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.